Right now, we're not going to actually go through and do these. We're just going to talk about them and draw pictures from them. So I, I need you to be able to draw pictures for something like the top 30%, the bottom 10%, the top 80%. Okay, the first thing we want to do is be able to identify what these pictures look like. We're going to go through right now, we're going to do all of our pictures at once, then we'll talk about how to compute them in just a bit. Are you ready for it? Yeah. Okay, watch on the board here with me. If you talk about the top 30%, honestly, the best thing you can do is locate the top 50% and the bottom 50% first, and then work from there. So the 50% range, that's right in the middle. This separates your bottom 50% and your top 50%. You with me on that? What we want to do, listen carefully, we want to find the number that separates the top 30% from the bottom how much percent? 70%. These things have to, have to add to 100%. So asking for the bottom 70% and asking for the top 30% is one and the same thing. If this is the bottom 50% and this is the top 50%, I want to change it to make it the bottom 70% and the top 30%. Are you with me? Where does it have to go, left or right? It has to go, I want the bottom 70%. I want the top 30%. This is, right now it's 50-50. If I move it this way, it's going to be the bottom 40%, the bottom 30%, and the top 70%. If I move it this way, it's going to be the bottom 60%, the top 40 The bottom 70%, the top 30 Which one do I want, left or right? Right. 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 So not here, but maybe there. You don't have to be exact, but you do have to draw the, the picture at least somewhat representative. So if this is the top 30%, does that make sense, it's top 30%? This would be like 0 0.30, yeah? How much would this be? Okay. You all right so far? Yes. Now, the thing is that you're not done. Right now you have areas on the board. Now, clearly, you're looking for, for the top 30%. However, all you really care about is finding that value, right? You don't care really what shade it, to be honest. You, you really don't. You're just trying to find the value that separates those two areas. On your table, if I look up 0 0.30, am I going to get the right thing? No. Why not? Because it only does It only does areas to the left. So if I look up 0 0.30, you know what I would have? I'd have the bottom 30%, not the top 30%. So when you draw your picture, draw both sides of it, draw both sides of it, and just look up the area that's on the left. So the top 30%, you need to know that the top 30% is the same thing as the bottom 70%. It's the same. It's identical. Same picture. If I had asked you for the bottom 70%, wouldn't you draw me that picture? I hope so, because it's the same. You just look up. Not 0 0.30, that's to the right. Your table only does to the left. Your calculator only does to the left. If you plug in your calculator, 0 0.30, it's not going to give you the right thing. You have to be smarter than your calculator and the table. So right now, I want you to do, if you have a calculator, do it two ways. If you just have a table, you only have one way. You're going to go on the table right now, and you're going to try to find an area of 0 0.70. Should I be looking in the body of my table or the sides of my table? Which one? The area which is the body or the sides? Body. Look up the body, 0. 0.7000. Most likely, it's not going to be there. <coughs> 0. 0. 0. 0.7000, oh my gosh. 0. 0.7000. Well, let's look at that together, okay? Uh, I 
do point seven zero zero zero? I don't see a point seven zero zero zero. I see a point six nine eight five. I see a point seven zero one nine. It's somewhere between there, right? Which means your z-score is somewhere between point five two and point five three. Are you following me? Notice how if you really don't know what you're doing, this can get quite confusing because you have areas which are all between 0 and 1, right? right? Yeah. And you have z-scores, some of which are between 0 and 1. Some z-scores are point, we're going to get a point 0.6 something. You have to really know what you're doing here. Be aware that your z-scores are not areas. Your areas are not z-scores. We're going from one to the other. You okay with that? you got to know that stuff. So here we're going, okay, we're looking at the point seven zero 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 because that's our area. It's not actually there. Here's what we're going to do. Instead of actually averaging things, we're going to go to the one that's closest to. So what's it closest to, the point six nine eight five or the point seven zero one nine? Closest to. This one? This one? It's actually that one. This is uh, 15 ten thousandths away, this is 19 ten thousandths away. It's, this one's actually closer. So let's just go with that one. We're, we're going to estimate this is going to be an approximation for us, all right? So we're going to identify what this z-score is. What is that z-score again? 0.52. Where you, okay, the 5 is 0.5 from here, and then that's the column, which is giving me the 0.52. You with me? Look up your calculator. Banna. <laughs> On your calculator, are you going to look at point 0.3 or point 0.7? Point 0.7. Okay. Did it give you a point 0.52 after you round it? Sweet. 0 0.52. Try looking up. Try this for me. Try looking at point 0.30. What? Point 0.30. Try looking up the point 0.30. I'll bet you a million dollars you know what it is right before you say it. I'll bet it's negative 0.52. It's because I'm a genius, obviously. <laughs> These things are symmetrical, right? The bottom 30% and the top 30% will have the same numbers, they'll be opposite of sign. The bottom 40% and the top 40% will have the same numbers, they'll be opposite of sign. Bottom 10%. It's, it's, it's symmetrical, right? It's zero in the middle. So the negative and the positive will be the same distance away, it's just you'll have the, a different sign. And so there are a few ways to actually do this, if, you're, if you really think about it. You could look at point three zero, right? Just change the sign, if you're on the right side of the, of the zero. Or if you're left hand, uh, then you don't do that. That's a little bit more confusing though. So I, I would recommend that you draw both of these areas, look up the one on the left all the time, and then you'll always be right. Does that make sense? Okay, good. I, I do need you to know the interpretation of this because it is confusing. I mean, like, wait a second, how is the bottom 70% and the top 30% 52%? That's not a percentage. What is that? This is an area, this is a Z score or a distance from zero. This is what this says, folks. You need to know this part. When I say that, you better know this part. What a z-score is, is the number of standard deviations away from the mean. Do you remember talking about that? The mean zero. This is the distance away from the mean according to the standard deviations. What it says is it's just over half of a standard deviation away from that mean. That's how much is going to represent an area of 70% below it. That's what that's interpreted as. You with me? Let's draw more pictures. We're not actually going to look these up because I, hopefully this one does it for you, yeah? Okay, let's, let's do the bottom 10%. Tell me when I need to stop for the bottom 10%. Here? Bottom 10%. This would be the... Right there? Sure. Bottom 10%, this would be 0 0.10. How much would this be? On your table, would you look at 0 0.10 or 0 0.90? 0 0.1, the area to the left. That's going to give you the value. Remember, you're not finding another area. You're given an area. You're finding the distance now. Top 80%, tell me where I stop top 80%. Here? Top, you're saying this is 80%. That's, that's what you just said here. Top 80%. This is the top 
I want more or less in my top? More. This would be less. That's the top 80%, this is the bottom 20%. Bottom 20%, top 80%, same thing, same thing. Which would you look up here, 0 0.20 or 0 0.80? <laughs> Clearly, it's on the left. That's how you go from an area to a z-score. Feel all right with that? Yes, no? One more example that we'll do. You know, oftentimes uh, this company would probably not really want to know that it's strictly more than a certain reading or strictly less than, but probably between. Because you don't want a thermometer that's just always less than something, right? Because you could be way, way off. It just gives you a, a reading that's less than what it should be. We want something that, that binds it and says, okay, I know, like, I'm 95% certain that if, you, if I give you a thermometer, it's going to read between this range. Don't you want to know that? It's not going to be too high. It's not going to be too low. It's going to be within this range. You with me? So what we're going to do is we're going to find the z-scores that give an area between the bottom 2.5% and the top 2.5%. We want to bind it and say it's, it's going to be between these numbers. That's what you're, we're 95 or 99 or 90, whatever percent certain that's between these numbers. So find the z-scores. that give the area between the top two point five percent and the bottom two point five percent. Well, you know what? We're still going to have a picture. All these things are going to have exactly the same picture. You just need to know how to interpret the problem correctly. Okay, we want the z-scores to give the area between the top 2.5% and the bottom 2.5%. Let's identify where those things are first. So let's work on, how about the, uh, the top 2.5%? Tell me where I need to stop if I want to represent the top 2.5%. Start this way. The top 2.5 percent, right here. Yeah. That's the top 2.5 percent. No. How much is above that line? Way more than 2.5. Well, I don't want to stop there. If I'm looking for the top 2.5 percent, this would be the top 50. This would be the top maybe 30. This would be like the top 10. The top. The top is always should be right. The top 2.5 percent. That's like right here. Oh, 2 2.5, 2.5%, 2.5%. We don't deal in percentages, do we? Your table's not in percentages, they're in proportions. Change that to a proportion, point what? Yes. Move it twice, the decimal I'm talking about. 0 0.025, 0 0.025. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Now let's find the bottom 2.5%. Tell me where I need to stop. Oh, that's the other one. Should be about symmetric.